Hi, my name is Logan and I'm 10 years old and I'm in the fifth grade and I'm a video game addict. Logan was born July 30th, 2005. Everything looked great. He was totally healthy. He met all of his developmental milestones. He was always kind of small in stature. There was nothing that ever showed up as problematic. When Logan was four or five, we started to get concerned because he was falling down frequently. He was very clumsy. We took him to Seattle Children's and requested an MRI. And on the MRI, they noticed some bright spots. They wanted us to come back every six months for another MRI to kind of keep an eye on it. The second MRI that Logan had, the neurologist started to think about Lee syndrome. And in May 2013, he hit his head at school. Right around that same time, he got sick and got a fever. But all within like that week, he started speaking really slow, started having a hard time standing, holding himself up, walking. So we were concerned that he had a concussion. I requested an MRI right away. The neurologist got the results back, asked me to come in, and I knew instantly that something bad was happening. Told me that the bright spots on Logan's brain were progressing and to just enjoy each day that we had with him because we didn't know how many good days we had left. Lee's is a neurometabolic disorder that shows up in infancy. And with Logan, there wasn't anything that indicated he had any mitochondrial disease. It took a turn pretty quick. Two months he went from walking to him barely being able to crawl on the ground with his legs dragging behind him. It was almost like having a toddler again. You know, we were carrying him around and we were actually physically feeding him. I also had a make-a-wish trip. Disneyland and Legoland. I think I don't really remember it. It's cause sometimes my sometimes my memory doesn't remember things, and sometimes it does. In August that year, we had found out about the EPI Sub 43 study at Seattle Children. When that study first opened. Logan didn't meet the requirements because he didn't have the genetic confirmation. Right before the study actually opened, the pharmaceutical company changed the requirements. They just needed a clinical diagnosis, so Logan fit into the criteria. So we got to meet Dr. Sineda. That's when we very first got to start hanging out with him. September, he actually started on the medication. We saw improvements even within the first month or two of him being on it. For Logan, it did start initially attacking his speech and gross motor skills, that was where we saw it first. His eyes bounce. If he tries to grab something, he shakes. His core muscles are pretty severely impacted. His breathing is really, really loud. Like an unusual breathing pattern. My favorite football team is the Seahawks. Who's your favorite player? Um, Lynch, but he loves so it's Russell Wilson. And then fourth grade, he was hating school. He was feeling really defeated. The school awarded him a full-time paraeducator. So being his paraeducator, we just support him in the classroom. You know, if he needs help writing or reteaching, he wheels himself a lot of the time, but sometimes he gets fatigued. So then we have an adult there that can get him around the building. I think he gets a lot more general ed in the classroom this year just because he's added an hour onto his school year this year. So he's doing the full day, whereas last year we did a more modified um, schedule for him. Last summer did hippotherapy and uh, it was really expensive. We applied for the grant through the Mitochondrial Research Guild. Logan was awarded a grant from them to pay for that, so that was really awesome. He just loved it. He loved being on the horses. He had a really great time. It worked his muscles really well. Part of the fear is that anytime I see something change, I guess I'm kind of always waiting. Like, is, is things just going to take a turn for the worse? Is this the leaves progressing again? Developmentally, in the social part of it, he's totally where he should be for his age. At seven years old, he could do all everything by himself. He could take a shower on his own, he could use the restroom on his own. And 
then he couldn't. He's a 10 year old that's kind of trapped in a body that doesn't do what he wants it to do. I'm hoping one day there's, uh, whether it be a cure or just a drug that, I don't, that even works better than the FE to help him walk. I know he, he asked that sometimes if he's going to be able to walk again. When I go up, I want to be a video game tester because I like video games. Yeah, he turns 11 at the end of July, trying hard not to worry so much that the other shoe is going to drop or he's going to regress again and just try to enjoy the fact that right now he's doing well and we're so lucky that we have the best mitre doctor here at Seattle Children's. We've just been really lucky since he's been on the EPI 7.3.